Did you walk, drink water, or breathe today? Wow, you're a risk taker. This might shock you, but some of the most common things that we do on a daily basis are actually the things that are most likely to kill us. And because we do these things so often, we let our guard down, which means that simple things like breathing could actually end your life. These are 10 things you do every day that can kill you. Number one is sleeping. For the record, I hope this doesn't ruin your ability to sleep in. Now, I know what most of you are thinking. Sleeping is amazing. You get to dream, rest up, and snuggle, snuggle, snuggle. But it's true. There are a number of ways that being asleep can kill you. First are the obvious ones, like if you're operating a vehicle when sleep occurs or sleepwalking into very dangerous situations. But the less obvious one is the alarming statistic that 450 people die every year from falling out of bed. Imagine just for one second that you're dreaming about flying with your new robot best friend, and the next year dead on the floor. And newborn infants are especially at risk while sleeping due to sudden infant death syndrome or SIDS, which usually occurs while the little ones are snoozing peacefully in their cribs. When you lay down tonight for your precious sleep, just remember to tuck yourself in real tight and try not to roll around too much. Number two is walking. Of course, walking is healthy and whatnot, but sometimes it's also death waiting to happen. In 2011, there were over 4,430 pedestrian deaths in the United States alone, hundreds more than previous years, and that number is estimated to be even higher now. Research shows that distracted walking is the culprit, such as while texting, which sent over 1,500 people to the hospital each year just in the state of Ohio alone. Additional ways walking can kill you include falling into open manholes, which can actually suffocate you with toxic gases and the effects of weather. But if you're really unlucky, you can be smacked out of existence by an out-of-control vehicle while walking on the sidewalk or ended expectedly by a piece of falling debris. Oh, but Matt, that would never happen. That's like pianos falling on cartoon characters. That's not real life. It is. For instance, in Russia, 100 people die every year while being outside due to falling icicles, nature's murder tool that stabs you and then melts away with no traces. Enjoy your walk tomorrow. Number three is buying snacks from vending machines. Death can also be delicious. Have you ever seen that little image on the side of a vending machine of that cartoon figure being crushed by a similar looking machine? Have you ever wondered why? Well, it turns out that since many machines are top heavy, they only need to be tipped over a small amount before falling completely. But even with the little warning sticker that shows the stick man in the process of being brutally squished, 13 people die every year from being crushed to death while trying to get a snack. And if you aren't crushed to death instantly when the machine topples on you, remember there's a massive wave of embarrassment and grief to deal with as you lie trapped under the heavy snack-filled dispenser. Then there's the recovery afterwards, which also sucks. Just think about that next time before you take sweet revenge on the company vending machine for refusing to fully drop your cheese puffs. Number four is playing with kids. Locking up ammunition is key, especially in America. America because kids often think guns are toys and statistically at least once a week a young child shoots someone with a gun. Maybe it's your gun or maybe they got it at a friend's house but either way these injuries and deaths can be avoided. Other common methods of death by childish fun include accidents while playing running games, choking on toys such as plastic food at tea parties and having the amazing sandcastle you built as a family collapse on you. And yeah that last one has happened. Playing hide and seek with your kids can also lead them to getting into places they generally shouldn't be. Creative young hiders like unorthodox hiding places that adults would never think to look in, like the cupboard under the sink where all the household chemicals are stored. And then there's something really radical like the freezer, washing machine, or dryer. Oh, this laundry is really loud today. Kids have very little awareness of their own mortality, or yours for that matter, so be careful. Number five is wearing a scarf. On September 14th, 1927, dancer Isadora Duncan was cruising along sitting in the passenger seat of a sports car as it departed down a long nice country road. Enjoying the rushing air from the topless vehicle while she was in France, things quickly went bad for Isadora when the extravagant and unnecessarily long scarf she was wearing caught in the wheel spokes in the car's rear axle. Suddenly tightening, the scarf strangled her and launched her backwards by her neck, not only breaking it, but 
sending her flying out of the vehicle and onto the road where the impact killed her immediately. Pretty horrifying for someone expecting to just relax on a leisurely drive. Wearing scars around any sort of rotary machinery or car has strangled many people to death, including things like wheels, bikes, or even escalators. Now, although her case was an anomaly, it doesn't mean it can't happen to you. Just stay away from moving stuff. Number six is drinking water. Mm. Refreshing yourself with a cold glass of water can kill you in a number of different ways. First, drinking ice water actually slows your heart rate. The temperature messes with nerves in your body that mistakenly attempt to protect you by slowing your heart. Additionally, there are a number of chemicals in both tap water and bottled water that can do serious internal damage if you expose yourself to a lot of it. And finally, drinking too much water can actually kill you. So be careful how many cups you have. An example from 2007 was when 28-year-old Jennifer Strange died in California after competing in a water drinking contest and suffered water intoxication. A study done by the American Chemistry Society found that drinking just six liters of water could kill someone that weighs 165 pounds or less. When too much water is ingested, the kidneys simply can't keep up with flushing it out and it starts to get absorbed by the cells which swell up. If too many cells in your brain swell up, you die. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> Number seven are elevators. Some of y'all are about to gain a phobia. Whether it's an elevator, an escalator, or even just going up plain old stairs, going up to another floor is more dangerous than you might think. Let's start with escalators, the moving steps that injure more than 2,100 children and 2,600 seniors every year. Then there are elevators, which are over 20 times safer than escalators, but still aren't the safest way to get to the next floor, considering that it's a heavy enclosed box on a rope that hoists you up many stories inside a narrow shaft. Reports show that 26 people lose their lives in elevators just in the United States every year. Oh, and if you're an elevator worker, <laughs> be extra careful. Elevator workers who fall down shafts, get hit by counterweights, or get caught and maimed in the mechanisms account for another 14 deaths that happen every year. As for the stairs, over 12 thousand people die every year in the United States due to falling down them. It seems like no matter how you get from one floor to another, you'd best watch a step because you might die. Number eight is filling a prescription. According to the Institute of Medicine, an estimated 44,000 people die annually in the United States due to medical errors. Over 7,000 of these preventable deaths are attributed to prescriptions being issued with sloppy handwriting, leading some patients to get medications that either react act negatively with the medication they're already taking or might contain a chemical that they're allergic to. And don't forget, your doctor's human, so he might just be having an off day or could simply make an error in judgment with your diagnosis. That could easily send you back to the hospital after using your prescription with even more issues than you had before. This is a good time to point out that you should always talk in detail to your pharmacist or doctor about what drugs you're taking. These guys don't just sell you drugs, they just happen to know a thing or two about them too. Plus, doing your own research on prescribed drugs doesn't hurt either. In fact, it could save your life. Number nine is breathing. <laughs> okay, okay, take a second and take a deep breath and you could have died. Yep, even breathing can bring the reaper sooner than you would like to know. While the air outside can be full of toxins like smoke, exhaust from vehicles and pollution, it's actually the air inside your home that can cause you the most damage. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, the air in people's homes can be two to five times more polluted than the air outside. This is because of things like plants, cleaning products, paint, and decomposing garbage in our garbage cans, putting volatile organic compounds in our air. These compounds can deal damage to our kidneys, liver, and central nervous system and have been linked to certain cancers. So open your windows and let in some of that less polluted air so that it can circulate through your home whenever you can. And also vacuum. I saw your place. Your carpet's nasty. And number 10 is being sedentary. According to studies, over 5.3 million people die each and every year from being sedentary. 5.3 million! Sedentary means 
staying in one place, barely moving unless absolutely necessary. Being still for long periods of time can lead to cardiovascular disease and even cancer. In fact, doing nothing at all has a bigger risk of giving you a heart attack than smoking does. With the latest advancements in technology and entertainment, people have less and less reasons to actually get up and put in physical effort into their daily lives. Ironically, I just ordered dinner. I should probably go for a walk. Although that could kill me too. Eh. Fitness and running around to hunt is no longer an evolutionary requirement to survive like our ancestors. Now, since doing nothing is easy and Netflix is a thing, fitness is something you have to focus on along with a good diet because if you don't, it can have seriously disastrous effects on your body. So I'm going to save your life right now and tell you that if you've been binging on my videos and haven't moved for a while, stand up. Stand up right now, stretch a little bit, do a little of this, maybe just like that, it could save your life. But that being said, thank you so much for watching this, and if you enjoyed it, remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll have a brand new video for you tomorrow at 12 West Coast time, 3 Eastern Standard Time, so make sure you come by then. Have a fantastic day.